to the best of my knowledge, Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls V, has 76 trophies that I have already gotten all of them before on Steep for Special Edition. So I've gotten these 76 trophies before. In the main Skyrim, we have 51. You can see at the top, we have 10 here, that's 61. We've got 5 here, that's 66 for Hardfire. And then we've got 10 more in Dragon Board, that's 76. 76 trophies. They all say that getting 76 trophies on Legendary is an absolute bore of the highest degree. Because of some certain long run trophies. Um, there is uh, like getting to level 50. Or collecting 15 Daedric artifacts. Or discovering 100 locations. Or clearing 50 dungeons. Or, you know, the usual stuff. <laughs> Um, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I think it's something that I am absolutely up for the challenge of doing. So, welcome my friends to the Skyrim Legendary 100% playthrough. Now, you fret not, I am playing this on my PlayStation 5 on a brand new account. As you've seen, I have zero trophies unlocked. You will see them unlock as we go along. Um, and I'm going to do this. And I'm not going to struggle. I've thought about this for quite a while. Um, I'm very excited. It's going to be tough. We're going to die a lot. We're going to run into bugs. We're going to struggle. And that's okay. You're well. You you are you're more than welcome to follow along. You're more than welcome to doubt. But I did finish my last playthrough with the orc, so we need a new playthrough. Uh, the last playthrough, my goal was to finish the main quest, and I did that. So now we're going to 100% the game. Um. Well, achievement-wise, we're going to get all the achievements. So that requires playing all the main quest lines. All of the guilds, the College of Winterhold, and doing a lot of exploring. We're not going to use bugs and break the game. We're going to use the usual tiny exploits like resetting merchants, um, pickpocketing gold maybe back from merchants or from people we train our skills at. Um, some, some of the very, very small, non change the game stuff. Nothing like breaking the game. Just saving us time. Resetting the merchant is, is a big one. Uh, I do not have the ability to skip waiting in this. So, and I am not playing with any mods. We are going in because we have to. I can't play with trophies otherwise. So, uh, I don't plan on using any of the Creation Club content, to be honest. Uh, you're more than welcome to. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of it is quite busted. So, yes, we're playing as vanilla as I can get here. And I'm not playing the anniversary, as you can see. And I don't know if it automatically installs the Creation Club stuff. I don't think it does on the Special Edition. So, um, yeah. Sorry for the long drawn out talking. I'm going to skip segments where I'm farming, even unlike the last one where I didn't really show a whole lot, just small bits, I'm still going to skip it. I'm not going to show you much of the grind. This is probably going to take a good while. I may take some breaks in between. I may record some other playthroughs alongside it. But um, I hope you're willing to stick by and see what we can achieve, which is all 76 achievements on Legendary Difficulty. So, why don't we jump into this? Okay, so we're going to start off with a new game and go. It begins now, it ends one day. Um, I'm totally okay with playing this on my PlayStation 5 because it's running in 60 frames per second and I am more than happy to play Skyrim on a console, even with the lack of the wait time exploit on 60 frames. Um, I could have bought it again on Steam um, I just didn't want to. I own a game on PlayStation. I've never gone through it, and as you can tell, 
The game is running at a nice fluid 60 and uh, looks as Skyrim-y as ever, so... I may some days listen to a lot of dialogue. I may some days not listen to any. Um, my goal is to achieve the challenge in this, of course, so uh, forgive me if there is not much um, drawing out of stuff. This could have been made into one video, um, but I thought it more fun. I know you guys like the playthroughs and stuff, so I thought why not do the playthrough. And feel free to give any tips, help. I don't mind. I'm always welcome to reading your guys' comments. Um, no. I'm not running out of uh, ideas, by the way. I usually get some of these. I do actually like the challenges in this game, believe it or not. Um, the game is now set to legendary, as you can see. And we're going to set this to save every five minutes. Just so we make sure we have that ability to make sure there's some constant saves going in. Um, but yes, I do like playing this game. Um... I may complain a lot about it. I may point out problems I have with it, but I do love this game. But I will still be uploading some other playthroughs as well. Uh, at the time right now, I'm doing Demon's Souls. But I'm also wanting to do some Fallout New Vegas. So, feel free to watch. And uh, also, feel free to complain about the games that you all love. Because you play the games a lot. You show them a lot of love. So you are 100% entitled to complain about small gripes you may have with the games. And that's okay. Always criticize, my friends. But always make sure you're having fun. And when I play this game, I usually have fun. I am just knowing that we're going to encounter fights that I can't even imagine. You know? Now, I pray this game doesn't break. I will be making constant saves. And I'm going to have to. Um, because at any single moment we could run into an issue so uh, there won't be any really stupid fast cuts and stuff like that I know you guys enjoy the raw gameplay and because of the way I have this set up whenever I stop talking the video game will uh, hire its volume back up whenever I'm talking it will adjust itself to so you guys can hear me and yes so there's not going to be hopefully any issues with audio or that um i did a good bit of prep in thinking for what i want to do for this and something i'm going to try out which is quite new is block <laughs> now a lot of you know me i don't block a lot uh, if at all i'm not a blocker uh, i will be utilizing companions because companions uh are a necessity when we go through this kind of a difficulty um and i'm going to be playing a khajiit mage okay i'm going to be playing a khajiit mage who will use spells in the absolute back end of things use a dagger to save themselves if they run out utilize potions pickpocketing Sneak, whatever, whatever I can. Whatever suits me at that time. We will be doing even more prep for fights in this than I ever have before. To make sure the fights go down without an absolute hitch. Which is why I think this will be long. Because I'm not rushing this. I'm also doing this to have fun. And again, you're welcome to join. You can do this, by the way. <laughs> I'm not very good at uh, games. Uh, I struggle a lot. But I like learning how to do the harder games. To show and prove to myself that I can do them. And I've been able to get through Skyrim on Legendary multiple times. Which was supposed to be something that you wouldn't be able to do. Already we've encountered a bug. Rayloff, Rayloff was just standing behind us. So uh, again, this is why we need to make saves. I'm a little scared. But I'm so happy that this game runs at 60 frames. It makes it so much more wanting to play... Also, the look sensitivity isn't giving me issues like it does on PlayStation 4 and stuff. So, that's nice. Who, who am I? That is a good question. So, um... I am a Khajiit. 
I have basically nothing of use. Uh, I have night vision. That's cool, I guess. Uh, and I have unarmed claw attacks, which are not that good. I do start with an advantage in stealth and some of the skills that I will be using. But this... Usually I start as an orc, but I want to show you that you can do this on any class. And a Khajiit... I mean, they don't really have any big advantages. The unarmed claw attacks will not help you on this difficulty. <laughs> Except maybe at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game, you won't need a weapon straight away because you can just use your claws. That's fine. I can use a, you know, a shield and my claws. But that will get outscaled very quickly. Very, very quickly. It doesn't matter if I get the gloves of the pugilist from the Rift and Ratways. It doesn't matter if I... If I... I don't know. Okay, I was going to say something lewd, but I decided not to. It just doesn't matter. Okay? Khajiit, Imperials, Wood Elves, they, they're just, they're not, they're not that suited. Argonians, they're, none of them are that good in Legendary. But we're going to make them good. We're going to utilize the, we're going to utilize the, the abilities of the Khajiit to the best of our abilities. I always need a scar. I need a kitty cat scar. I'm not a big fan of the selection of war paint for Khajiit, but it's the best we're going to get. It's the best we are going to get. Um, wait. Yeah, I like the blue eyes on the... Uh, moved their eyes down a bit lower. A bit more together. Want their eyes a bit more protruding out. Um... There we go. No, we want to make them kind of like an angry-ish Khajiit. You know? We like we like the idea of having an angry uh, an angry kitty. So um I want rings. Obviously jewelry is not a separate option, only doing this kind of stuff is with hair. So I think I will take this here. Why not? And obviously the ringed goatee, because I like the ringed goatee. I think it's a nice addition. And I probably will, by the way, be talking a lot. There will be times where I won't be talking, where you'll get your five, ten seconds of silence. Don't worry. Um, but now it is the time to change from prisoner and to give our adventurer the name that they were gifted with. Our Khajiit will be known as Kit Kat from this moment onwards because I like Kit Kats. They're a really nice chocolate bar. <laughs> you with one of the Let's get the heck out of Helgen. Wait, just so you guys are aware, the game is on Legendary, as you can see. So, here we go. Um, I am so ready for this. <laughs> as always, to be fair though. I've only struggled a couple of times, so... And I promised myself I would not do this kind of a challenge until I finished a legendary playthrough of the main campaign again, and I did. I finished the Orc one, which you're very welcome to go watch, by the way, guys. I finished it a couple of weeks ago. So... Be my feckin' guest. We're getting the hell through here. Or heck, I should say. And we're going in here because this is... So superiorly faster than following Rayloff, in my opinion. So, we can bump Hadvar until he gets our bindings off, as you can see. And now we are truly free! We are truly free from the madman's time. I love how fast this is running. I'm so not used to this being on console. This is You would not think this is on console with how fast it's running. Let's keep moving. God, man, I'm so excited for it. Hope you guys are too. I hope this um, fulfills some of the... Um... Oh, sorry. I'm so... I need to get used to the controls again. It's been a while. So... Let's get Hadvar to open this bad boy up. There we go. And we're getting through. So, combat. 
You don't have to think too much at times, but at the other times, you do need to think. So, we're gonna make a save here, from the very beginning. This will be the annoyance to an extent with PlayStation, but I don't mind. It'll be that prompt that comes up. We can quick save, which we can easily do, as you see. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to utilize the power attacks and then tap the, the button that you would do the power attack with to do this special kind of a move. Now, we need... Um, we need Hadvar to help us, because otherwise we will take too much damage. Oh, as you can see, just like that. So, oh, let's actually proc some of these. I'm not going to use destruction, by the way. I will not be using destruction, and of course we are lacking in hotkeys, but that's okay. I don't mind. Sorry, Stormcloak soldier. Do the free of stamina. Oh yeah, the reason we do that double tap is because it doesn't cost any stamina. And it is a very powerful move. It does more damage than the basic attacks, so. Vegetable soup? What do you mean? Vegetable soup. Wait. If we're not doing destruction, then what are we doing? I just said that we're doing a mage. Yeah, sorry. What was I... I don't know why I thought it was destruction. It wasn't destruction I was thinking of. It was something else. But like I said, I'm happy to use uh, multiple things. We're trying to kind of get around here. Get them to be distracted by Hadvar. And because XP equates to the damage taken, uh, we will level up much faster. So, at level 50 won't be that much of an issue. And it's not if we're especially doing all the content in the game. We will we will flow through it easily. And, I mean, if it gets to a point where that's like the last achievement we can power level. My only fear is that the Daedric Artifacts achievement will break or something. Because that has happened before. Um, Many, 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 many times in playthroughs I've had. Uh, hopefully it won't happen this time around. But it's also not happened at times. So, let's make a quick save. And we hope. Because remember, opening your character menu also prompts the save every five minutes. Once we do it, it goes on a cooldown. Um, oh, yes, yeah, the Stormcloaks I'm fighting. <laughs> I started attacking the Imperial Torturer. But most of this starting area is going to be me utilizing the companions we have to help us, because why wouldn't you? You want to get the hell out of Helgen. Of course, at this point, it's not that fun for a lot of people, so... And voila! We have now um, gained the ability to use a shield, which is what I want to utilize, one of the main things for this character. Uh, a battle mage, almost. A battle mage sounds very cool, in my opinion. Um, I'm not going to be boosting to impact double spam. Because that isn't the most fun to watch. So, as I said, I'm not going to be... Like, it is in the game normally. And I will utilize it, but I'm not going to be, like, maxing out magicka, stuff like that. Like, I want to be able to use a bunch of different things for fun. I don't want to just be doing the stagnated same thing over and over. Otherwise, this will get very boring very quickly, which I don't want to happen um, at all. So, we've now got a boost to Magicka from that. There's also a coin purse uh, in here, I think. Yeah. There's probably no reason to gather it because there's other places, but at the beginning of the game, we can take any help we want. Usually, the videos I watch with challenges are people making one video and they do a lot of work which is awesome to do it but I, I thought why not do a playthrough you guys can really see how it goes down as there's already a big niche for them single video ones not that I wouldn't make any I think they're really cool I'd love to make one but I also like doing these kind of things at my own pace and explaining why I'm doing the stuff I'm doing you know it's shield bashing is going to be such a, a big thing that we do so, 
I need you storm cloaks. Good man, good man, good man. In we go, in we go, in we go. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Let's use Night Eye. Because I'm actually struggling to see. Funny enough. So I guess Kishi's not entirely useless. We will have the ability to get stamina or magic back. I mean, the College of Winterhold is a good beginning. Um, to, to get equipment for that kind of thing. So... Is there still a Stormcloak soldier here? Oh, there is. And as you can tell, our Magicka is not regenerating fast. Now, a lot of you might be asking, why am I even bothering talking during the Helgen uh, intro? I, again, you guys, if you decide to do a Legendary, a lot of you get motivated to do Legendary when I do these. I've kind of gathered that by now, so I'm going to accept it. Even if it's just a couple of you. So, I'm going to show you how I get through Helgen. And that is with a Khajiit as a mage. So... A quick thing before we go on, I wanted to show you. The advantages Khajiit have in skills, as you will see, are the ones... Uh, at one-handed, I think we did start at 20. Archery at 20. Sneak is 25. That's our big one, of course. Lockpicking and pickpocketing are 20. Alchemy is 20. And yes, so there are 420s and 125 skill. Um, these guys might not be doing a lot of damage now, but they will. They will. They will end up absolutely destroying us. Guys who shoot arrows from their bows usually do. So. Sorry, buddy. Oh, I miss! I might use a bow as well. Again, I'm not restricting myself too much. Just off of stuff like two-handed and heavy armor. Although battle mages use heavy armor, but I think light armor would be fun. I always do heavy armor. I always, always do heavy armor. I never do... I never do light armor, and I feel so bad for all of you who watch me who love light armor. So, we'll do light armor, okay? Just for you. I've got you covered, guys. Okay? Don't worry. Don't worry. Let's do some leveling up. Okay? So, let's start with magic M. Health means nothing at this point. You are wasting a skill point, my friends. You think 110 health is going to stop you from dying? Nope. Yeah, not a chance, my friends. Blocking is 20% more effective. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, we start there. What we're looking for is we're looking for the quick reflexes perk. Um, This is what I mean by I don't get bored of this game, man. People... It's, I don't mind. It's fairness. It's a fair assumption. People... People think I force myself to play this game a lot of the time. There is bouts where I don't want to play the game, but I don't play it anymore when I don't want to play it. And when I do want to play it, I play it. I do very much love this game. I love the power creep. I love the open world. There's a lot of stuff I don't like in the game, but, you know, I still I still really like the game. I still love the game. I'll never say I love it, but I do. Now, poison will absolutely screw us up, my friends. So you really want to be careful here. But the reason I want to use multiple stuff, like even a bow and stuff like that, is because it'll level us up faster. And because it's legendary, when we run out of Magicka, we could utilize it in different areas and stuff. So, there will be areas where a bow will come in really handy. But we're not just going to use it. I feel like someone like the Dragonborn would be quite a big Drac- or Drac- Jack of all trades. So... Let's grab the frostbite venoms from these. Whoa. We're barking. Okay, I think the doggo has stopped now. In case the doggo doesn't stop. <laughs> we'll see you in a minute. So, let's keep on going with this. Okay, so. Um, this is already going to be a hard challenge, so I don't want to limit myself too much. But I'm happy not doing something like two-handed. Uh, this will be the easiest bear we fight. So, just be aware of that. The great thing about shields is when you re-equip them out, you can re-equip them very quickly. Very, very quickly. And because of how much hits we're going to be taking in this, I have a feeling block is going to level up very quickly. I've done it before. And also, we have to be a bit careful with block. Um, there is a bug in the game... Which I still don't think is fixed at this point. Where when you use quick reflexes, sometimes it will permanently leave you in a stasis. 
Uh, there might be a workaround around it. I'm not entirely sure, but I don't want to chance it. So, uh, just be aware that if you are doing something like that, we don't want to do survival mode. And um, that is a thing. So, let's make another proper save here, my friends. It's quick enough. It's only a couple of seconds, so we only need to do it every so often. So, that's my one gripe that I don't want to keep doing, but... Man... There we go. Unbound. Trophy number one. <laughs> 76 trophies. One down. 75 to go. So, I'm probably not realizing how long this is going to take. But I believe in myself. And once you have... Look, let's, once you believe in the heart of the cards, boys. Once you believe in the heart of the cards, alright? You're good to go, man. You're good to go. Alright. So, let's get the mage stone. We got blessed. 74 trophies to go. God, we're flying it at this point, my friends. We're flying it. We'll go to Ember Shard because it's a free level up. Why not? Actually, I'll unlock Ember Shard. I'll... Can I... Yeah, can I take the woodcutter's axe? Oh, oh, go away, go away, go away, okay, we're a bit screwed on blocking now, so let's just kill this bandit and let's run ahead of, um, let's run ahead of our boy next to us, oh, I picked the share button. No, I don't want the share button. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't want the screenshot. Thank you. Let's wait an hour to heal. That's another exploit we want to utilize. And let's get past these walls. We'll make a quick save. And we'll head on to Riverwood. And talk ahead of our boy behind us. Because otherwise we'll be waiting a while. Uh, these walls sometimes give me a lot of hassle. So I'm going to... Double set them on fire. And get that out of the way with so we got the initial damage done. Okay, that's one down. God, I've kind of become an expert at killing these three wolves, man. I used to struggle so much against them. But honestly, just utilizing destruction at the beginning is such a quick way of dealing with these guys. It's kind of unfunny. Where's the third wolf? There's always three. Show yourself, bull boy. I know you're here somewhere. Where are you? There's always three. Where's the third one? Meh. He's probably down on the road or the river, maybe. I don't know. He's not following us, so it is what it is. So let's head on ahead here and talk to... Um, Thinny Majiggy. Hopefully, Hadvar did not get ahead of us. Thankfully, that's good. So, let's get in here. Talk to Alvor. Hadvor said you could help me out. He's a friend. He promised you could help. Let's get this out of the way so we have to head to Whiterun. These will be long uh, episodes, by the way. They're going to have to be. Um, because, one, I want to. I'm not worried about it. Like, it probably will crash, but I'm not entirely worried about it crashing. The way I usually am on, excuse me, on PC and stuff, you know? On PC, I get really scared that it's it's going to crash and stuff like that. So, not having that worry is pretty awesome for me. So, we will unlock Whiterun, as per. I'm so excited to do this playthrough. Like, I cannot stress that enough to you guys. This is just going to be so awesome to do and achieve. And... I can't wait. And I feel good doing it because I can upload other stuff on the side. So I'm not too bothered by it. Um, and I really, really hope you guys are okay with this kind of a playthrough. Um, I am. So I got to play Skyrim on a big TV. You know, I can record it with no issues. And I can play it on a high difficulty. Learn once again. You know, it's just so much fun to do, man. So where are the two wolves that are usually here? There they are. 
There's usually two, but it seems to be that some of the wolves are on vacation today. So, I don't know where they are. They're just kind of gone. Where's the other boy? Oh, it's letting me wait and everything, I guess. Okay. I mean, sure thing. So, I just like to get Whiterun traveled immediately because once we have Whiterun, we can travel to any of the other uh, cities. And it's handy from the beginning to do... Uh, we want to be able to travel to any of the cities straight away because there's a carriage outside it, so that's why we want it. So you just don't want to run into any trouble straight off the bat because it's not worth it. Um, let's keep on going. I just realized there is some things I'm absolutely mind-numbingly dreading to do in Legendary. One of them, and one of the worst things I have to do in Legendary is fight the magic anomalies in Winterhold. On legendary that without fail usually takes me like 20 minutes to half an hour to do now this time i will utilize every single possibility i can to deal with them as fast as possible but i can't promise that that won't take a while but i hope you guys are okay with that and look if there is a really badly drawn out fight i can leave a timestamp i can speed it up in the editor you know i can excuse me i can I can just tell you guys, look, hey, this is about to be a long fight in a little clip or something. You know, feel free to skip to this part. Or I can cut it out. But, I mean, at this point, I would assume you guys believe the authenticity of my videos. So, hopefully you'd believe if I was to skip it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how you guys feel. Let's help with the giant. So, they're like, hey, Dragonborn. You were the help us. I was really, really excited about the Assassin's Creed event the other day because Assassin's Creed is one of my favorite franchises and always has been. The only game I'm not a fan of with Assassin's Creed is Syndicate, and I've tried it twice and I couldn't get into it, but maybe if I was to try it again, maybe I would. I don't know. I love Origins. I'm an absolute sucker for Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh my god, I love that game. All you have to do is hit the giant and you're good to go. So... um. It's weird. I had a bug where all of these barrels cost or were down a stealing in my last playthrough. And I don't understand why. Because they never count as something that you steal from. Um, I know, by the way, I know there's a lot of talking, okay? I know I don't skip a lot of parts. And I know it always ends up that I sound like I'm explaining myself. But I'm just letting you guys know, hey, I like talking, okay? I can't help it. I'm sorry. B, I like explaining what my thought processes in the game are. C, I love raw gameplay myself. Um, I mean, I watch Rad Brad a lot the last couple of um, weeks. I've been back watching him. I've watched his last was playthrough and stuff. So I watch Major Slack's um, Elden Ring playthrough. You know, I like raw gameplay. I, I don't mind it. So I hope, you know, I know you guys are always used to the fast editing and stuff with me, but I hope that's okay. Um, it saves me a bit of effort, of course, as well, but... I don't have to worry too much about what I'm saying. But I always do this. I always collect the vegetables from these. The ones I need anyway that are a necessity for a vegetable soup. So, Okay, we're about to get a free speech check here. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Or not. Wow, we didn't get any. Oh no, we did. We got one there. It was just weirdly delayed for some reason. So... There's no quests that I am too keen on picking up right now. We do want to pick up Blue Mountain Flower because Blue Mountain Flower is really good for healing potions. As you all know, probably. And so is wheat, but we need to go to the other farms for the wheat. I didn't mean to take out my sword. I'm not attacking anybody. Um, there's a lot of Blue Mountain Flower around this area. But we're not going to talk to the Jarl yet because I would like to get the Dragonstone first and just bring it to him. But now we have access to the first city in Skyrim, which is awesome. And we're totally okay with it. Patron of the Great Clan Battle. Let's head on down and see. Now, what would we like to do? I think I would like to go to Embershard now that I have unlocked it and i said that i'd like to clear it because it is technically it is a free level up it is but because skyrim is also on uh, the ps5 supports and ssd um 
it's going to load very fast, as you can see, which makes me so happy. God, it's such a... I know some of you are probably like, but James, you can play with a controller in 60 frames on PC. Yes, but my PC has a bajillion problems that I've fixed bit by bit over the years, but still does, so... I'm very content with this. You have no idea how happy I am. So, let's make a proper save before we go through the dungeon, because you never know when it's going to break in a dungeon. I did not think that would kill me. I actually thought I was pretty safe. Wow. This again. Wow. That that did a lot. Well, you probably noticed I screwed up my shot initially. So, at least we got it that time. Um, come on, get as much damage as possible. Wow, he did way more damage just than I expected. Uh, iron shield, iron sword. Okay, let's use any healing potions we got here. We'll use a frost venom as well. Why not? It's probably not nearly as much as I as I want. But blocking is going to be what supports us here, guys. It's going to be what saves us. Oh, crap. Move, move, move. Woo, that was way too close. That was way too close. Oh my god. Oh boy. That was scary. I won't lie to you. I won't lie. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. I'm very lucky I didn't get hit there. So, we've mined some ore. We need to mine ore, uh, cook food, and cut wood as one of the achievements in the game. A lot of them little achievements I'll get out of the way at the beginning. There is a gold purse we just walked by, and there's another one just ab over here, above the little door thing here. So, I should have made a save there. That was a bit stupid. That was a bit dumb dumb. I won't lie. I won't lie. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. We have some healing potions. We have some healing potions. Just make sure to keep on throwing the healing out. Shield bash whenever you... Get some stamina back. Block whenever you're not. Alright. There's the first four bandits of Ember Shard dead. Whew. Okay. Let's take any of the uh, small resources they have. Like gold or ingots or stuff. We don't need anything after that. Uh, there's a gold coin purse here as you can see. So. Um, let's do some healing here. And. Okay. <laughs> take out the Lombo. Um, I mean, we're going to get this stuff anyway in a second, so it's not a big deal. I know I said I'm going to use a dagger, but at the beginning, uh, things change in playthroughs, guys. Ch things change. Things change all the time when we're doing uh, stuff, so... Uh, shield. Thank you. Hit this bad boy. There we go. He's on fire. Hit him again. Again. Hit him again. This won't kill him, probably. Power attack! Ooh, oh my god, man. <laughs> Why are we getting so close to a lot of these? 
This is so goddamn scary. Our first struggling fight is probably going to be up ahead, by the way. All right, let's see if our first major chest gives us anything cool. We got a blessed iron warhammer, an amethyst gold lockpick, a staff of flames. Let's go. Okay. All right, that's not too bad for some money. Oh, garlic could be good for some leveling up of uh, the alchemical arts. Um, I never find spider eggs in here usually, but cool. Vegetable soup will be glorious for our perma shield bashing because that's what we want to do. So let's make a quick save. Let's take out the Lombo. Let's use a Frostbite Venom. Um, let's take out this guy as quick as possible. Let's save our level up for the appropriate time to use it. So... The appropriate time to use it will be in a little bit. Let's double... Uh, destruction. That should kill him before he hits us. Yeah, he didn't hit us there. I don't think so. Grant, let's take these iron arrows back. Let's make another quick save. Down to the Lombo. We're out of poisons, which is fine. Let's maneuver over here. This guy coming up to us is two-handed, which is not good at all. It's not good at all. Remember, you we have a level up, and we need to utilize it. Just don't let her power block. Or power attack, sorry. All right, we'll level up here quickly, because I want to make sure we have points and stamina. Let's put it into Magicka. Block. Able to do a power bash. Yeah, that's the big one. Uh, we want quick reflexes. We can't level this up right now, so... Let's increase a point in one-handed. Just keep power blocking. There we go. All right, the last person won't be that hard to deal with. We just need to be efficient. We need to think about exactly what we're doing. We also need to collect 50 skill books. So I'm going to keep all the skill books I get and leave them in a chest or something because I want to keep track of how many I have. Um, we're not really going to be like, we will use smithing, I guess, but like the light armor I'm going to use, there's so much, excuse me, good pieces of light armor around. <laughs> You know? Uh, let's just use one here. It always does the kill cam super early. Super, super early. Super early. I didn't mean to pick up her bow, but it's fine. We can just sell them. Alright, that's the last bandit here. Okay, so we've officially cleared out Ember Shard. Let's grab all these little bits of loot because it's some early money. That's what we want. I might not utilize the merchant exploit too much. You want to know why? Because I don't really want to go through the saving and loading. As handy as having the money is, we'd probably be easier just... Like, unless I really need to do it. Like, unless I'm very close to something, but... I might. But, like, also, I will do all the big grinding off of the videos. I promise. Don't worry. You have my word, friends. You have my word. I will not make you watch the ridiculous amounts of grinding. Um, <clears throat> let's head on out here. As we have just cleared this out. And I guess it wouldn't be too much of a, a problem to do two things here. One, let's go and get Anise's uh, cabin. And two, go back to Whiterun and do some prepper stuff. Let's get... Um, Let's get the achievement done for cooking food and cutting wood. And let's... I don't know where this third wolf is. <clears throat> and let's... Get the sword quest from Amrin. We could do that, you know. That could level us up. That could give us a bit in our one-handed. Let's... Sell some stuff to the merchants. 
that can take it. Um, what the hell is this? Already? What? This is so quick! Are you kidding me? I guess we're not getting an Issa's cabin then. Screw that. Screw that noise, bro. I'll run by. That's what I'll do. Run! God damn it, man. I'm being chased by vampires already? I've never encountered vampires this early. Anise! Anise! No, we're okay. <laughs> They're not chasing us anymore. That's so early. Oh my god, man. That's terrifying. Ugh. Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, look, I can't... I tried holding down the select button and moving the... And moving the analog stick, but it doesn't work. You used to be able to do it on, like, the old consoles. Maybe you can do it on PS5. Maybe someone has figured out a way. I'll have to Google it. It would be pretty amazing if there was a way to do it, so... Um... Sigurd, I need you to move, buddy. Sigurd! You chop that wood, boy. This better be the last one. Come by Bellator's shop. Because I want to use it. Ah, Sigurd. You're so dreamy. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Thank you! Alright, now we have some firewood, boys. Let's go. We can upgrade our bow. <laughs> I had to do this anyway, so. It's a way to get some money. So, there we go. We've chopped wood. Now, if we cook some food and Skyrim hasn't broken already at the very beginning, we should be able to do this. We should be able to get an achievement for cooking some food. Hi, Sadia. How are you? Um, can I, did I pick up any tomatoes? Uh, potato soup's not too bad, actually. We can make some of that. Okay, I've just cooked food. I mined ore and I chopped wood. What the hell's going on here? I'm gonna get all the quests I can uh, get from Mrs. here. Has the game broken already? Or am I not reading the achievement correctly? The companions in Yorvask? Magic is. Of course, there is Farengar. He might be the Jarl's. Let me see. Can I? Need anything else? No more. Can I check trophy tracker? Yes, mom. You still need to remove that blood. Let's check this trophy. I am. I'm certain that that's what you had to do. Um. Let's see. Let's find it here. That one with the shadows is going to be very tedious, but we'll worry about that later. Chop wood, mine ore, and cook food. Do I need to let the chop wood animation play out? Let me try. Alright, I think the reason is, is because I didn't automatically mine ore. Uh, like, I... I did it manually, so I think that was the issue. Um, so, let's sell some stuff we have here. That we got on the side. <laughs> Just for a little easy money at the beginning. Uh... I did mine two firewood, but I immediately thought about the uh, the thing I just told you guys about, and I was like, oh, that's probably what it is, so that's what we'll do. Um, I'm going to keep the iron ore. You know, we're definitely going to probably use alteration. Uh, I would like the armor rating increase. I am picking up every little side miscellaneous quest I can pick up here, uh, because we're going to need to do a lot of them. Um, I know what ones we've come to, but if I grab them now, I'll remember them. Um, let's talk to her. The two guys are done talking to her. And I won't wait too long to do some of these quests, unless the quest is ridiculously difficult. But as long as I get a companion, and I've decided to get a companion this time that I never use. And that companion, my friends, 
is Jazargo. Yes, I never used Jazargo. And I think I would like to use Jazargo. <clears throat> so, let's go to the two northern farms above us. A lot of this first episode is a lot of the beginning stuff I usually like to have in my characters, as you guys all know. But all this stuff, trust me, it's going to help you out. You know, you you want to you want to gather all of the the things we just did. Um, another really nice place to grab a crap ton of wheat, by the way, if you're in need of it, is Windhelm. Go to Windhelm and go to the farms next to Windhelm. There is a lot. Now we definitely don't need this many cabbages, and I'm going to look into some new things we don't ever do. Maybe there's some new foods we should utilize and stuff. You know. I'm showing you when I when I haven't done something, I'll show you guys what I'm doing. But when I when you guys have seen it, like for an example, you know what I'm doing here. So if I say I'm going to collect the ingredients from the White Run Farms, I'm not going to show you. You can assume from the moment on that you know exactly what I'm doing, which is this. You don't need to see me do this every time. <clears throat> but now you do. So like, there has to be something. I say there is, but it's Skyrim. Like, there has to be something useful with gourds, but meh. I've yet to find any tomatoes. Why? Why have we not found any tomatoes? I'm very confused on that. So, let's grab all this wheat. Okay. There should be a veinable... Uh, a mineable ore vein over here. There's a lawn here somewhere on the side, if I remember correctly. See, in newer games, they show you where veins are and stuff. Uh, you always know a new game. Skyrim was made at a time where they didn't mark everything on your map. So, a lot of uh, Skyrim is looking for stuff. Which, I, you know what? To an extent, I appreciate. I'm pretty sure it's by the little stream here. But I appreciate it, you know? I appreciate it. I swear I remember there being a mineable ore vein. I know there's some the long way around, but I, I'm so certain that there was one here. Right? All I need to do is press A. Is this one here? No, it's probably all the long way around. So what we'll do is... Hmm, what will we do? What will we do? I can't remember every single vein that's in the game, unfortunately, so... Um, anyway, I'll show you guys what I mean by Windhelm anyway, because I, I like these lawn episodes, and I know you guys do too, so... So, we'll go to Windhelm, we have the gold, and now we can fast travel to Windhelm whenever we want in the future. So, that's pretty handy. Be very happy about that. Very, very happy. Okay. So you don't need to go into the city and unlock it. You just need the stables. <clears throat> but take a left once you get to Windhill straight away. Oh, hey, it's a Kashyyyk Merchants. We can get some snowberries. Snowberries are a nice little ingredient for us to collect. And as you will see here, there is a ton of wheat. So Blue Mountain Flower is literally everywhere. Like all you have to do is wander around the White Run Hold for a couple of minutes, guys. And you're good to go. By the way, you don't need to be playing on Legendary. If you want to just follow and get all the achievements and this is a time to follow along, you know, you can play on any difficulty. It's If you play on Novice, you will fly through this game. And you will get all the achievements. But there's a, there's a real challenge for me in doing it on Legendary. Because even when you go on any of the, the trophy guide sites and stuff, which I just want to see, did they line up with my own ideas? Which they do. To the most extent. Um... They all recommend not doing it on Legendary. So that's why I was like, hey, that sounds fun. Let's do it on Legendary. So now, if you go much further after these farms, you will be sorry. You will die. There is a lot of stuff that direction that will kill you. So try not to. Try and avoid it as best as you can. <laughs> but now we have Windhelm. We have Windhelm and we have Whiterun. You could technically travel to all the holds from the very beginning here. To um, be done. Now, I didn't get Amrin's. There's a couple of more Blue Mountain Flowers around here. And then we'll go to Arcadia's thing. And I didn't talk to Amrin. Hi, Nazim. How are you? 
There's a lot of Blue Mountain Flower around White Run. But I want to find Amrin. He should be arguing with his wife. And we then can ask him, does he want our help? And we go and we get the sword. Now, again, I don't remember where every piece of Blue Mountain Flower is. But all you guys need to really do is wander around. All of the ingredients in this game have a use in some way. So if you see an ingredient, they weigh next to nothing. They're very worth picking up, and you can store them in a bajillion places. There's a couple of chests in the game that you can store stuff in. That's not a problem, so... Just remember that. Don't worry too much about, oh, you know, your carrying capacity or stuff. Get a follower. Have the follower hold on to stuff, you know. Hi, cow. Just make sure to pick up what you can, because you are going to want a lot of healing potions. So... Let's grab this from Amrin. Do you need help finding the sword? Awesome. I won't be doing this in every city. Don't worry. This is just for now to show you, like, when you wander around, uh, you get ingredients. Because this could be some of your first time watching a legendary playthrough. But I have enough now. I have more wheat than I do Blue Mountain Flower, most likely. But that's okay. Um, we just make as many potions as we are capable of making. Now... Another thing you want to do in these games is you want to make friends with people because they let you take stuff from their shops and homes and stuff. For Arcadia, there is a quest where you deliver... It's quite a problem back home in Where you deliver frost salts to her. So if you go and talk to Farangar, you can get that quest. Um, I'll do that now in a second. Uh, we're going to do Can I Use the Alchemy Lab because I will eventually just click onto it by accident. And I don't want to. <laughs> So, let's buy... We're not going to buy stuff we don't need. If I can get it, I'm going to try and get it myself. Okay? Because it's just going to be a waste of money. And we are going to need our money for a lot of stuff. Specifically training. So, let's make as many healing potions as we can here. Uh, let's combine that with random stuff here. To find random effects. Like we always do at the beginning. We have a lot of wheat to check here, so why not do that? We're not really getting many effects here, unfortunately, but we can keep trying. So wheat, garlic, no, resist fire on that. Because remember, when we get these, we can look at an ingredient and we can know, hey, that ingredient does this, that ingredient does that, you know, that kind of thing. And we make some random crappy potions, we come over to Arcadia, we sell the crappy potions, we'd be on our way. So, we make some money from these. Keep any resist potions you get, by the way, guys. Trust me, you're gonna want them. What's the now, helping Carlotta with her uh, beginning problem with Mikhail is a good idea because we get free ingredients here to make vegetable soup. We'll come back down and do that in a minute. I just want to get the frost salts because I want to come back to Arcadia and get the permanent discount. A lot of prep. A lot of prep, guys. Like, you know, I, I, I have it all planned what I want to do because we do all this now. This is going to be so handy as we go through the game. I, I will always be able to come back to Carlotta stand and get these ingredients in future episodes. You know, I'll always be able to have uh, discounts in Arcadia's shop. You know, not discounts, just, but be able to pick up stuff from our house. Um, all this kind of stuff. You know, I mean, while we're here, we can pick up the quest. There's no harm. Why not? Again, I always change some stuff we're going to do. Either way, we have to go to Bleak Falls Barrow, regardless. So, let's him do his talking. Let's come over and talk to Farangar. Let's do the how do you enchant weapons, because there's something I have an axe I can break. What are your duties? Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. Farangar, I can't remember. Are you doing your wizard? Would you be so kind as to deliver? Yes, it's this. Okay, so the frost salts. We deliver them to Arcadia. So disenchant the blessed iron warhammer. Just like that. And we'll get through this piece of dialogue. So I'm going to buy some spells from Farangar. We're going to buy Bound Sword. We're going to buy uh, fast healing. We're going to buy firebolt. 
We're going to struggle at using a lot of them. We're going to buy healing hands, but these are all going to be very worth using for us. So all these books we got, we have just ran out of all the money we had, but that doesn't matter. That's perfectly okay. We have a bunch of new spells now. Um, we're not going to use flames anymore. We're going to use firebolt. The more damage you do, the faster you level up. Just remember that. And we want to be using Bound Sword because it's far better. It's it's equivalent of a Daedric Sword. It's just really strong at the beginning. You want to use it. Simple as, guys. Um, uh, let me unequip healing. There we go. And so now we have all of the stuff we need. Uh, we could have gotten Muffle, but I'm okay for now. So... Now let's go down, deliver the Frost Salt to Arcadia. Um, we need to go to Bleak Falls Barrow as well. Let's make a save here. It's been a little while since I made a save. Again, we don't want to forget to do that. I have a big enough uh, SSD here that I should be making plenty of saves. The game can break at any moment. Any. I've had a main quest break on me a couple of times before. Not too many, but it has happened. And you don't want that to happen. Because you will be very sad. And it will be very upsetting. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. So we're also going to go in and kick the crap out of Mikhail. Mikhail. Mikala. So into Arcadia's Cauldron. You give her the Frost Salt. And a lot of this stuff that you see that says steel, it will change in a minute. You give her the Frost Salt. She compensates you with some potions. And now, as you can see, you can take a bunch... Just make, you can't take everything. What do you need, then? Just certain things. So make sure you can take it. Like there's certain stuff here that the expense is enough that she won't let you take it. Like the major potions of healing kind of thing. Like void salt, she won't let you take because they're expensive. That's expected. Ectoplasm, we can take. I don't want your goddamn boots. We can take taproot, creep cluster. You know, lots of stuff here. Uh, Sprig and Sap is a really cool thing at the beginning of the game. So, like, you know, that's really handy at the beginning when we want to make some free potions. So, we can take the Slaughterfish Scales. You know, not too bad. Not too bad. What's these here? Juniper Berries. Now, you technically can take the stuff here and go about your way. Like, you can put a bucket over her head and take everything just to remind you about that. Or a kettle. Like, if I come over to her here, you know. You'll find tonics, and I do that. Traps, oh my god, she's like, no! <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Well, rape. But we have a bunch of very unique ingredients here. So, I'm having a lot of fun playing this at the moment. And it's always good to have a long first episode in a playthrough, to be honest. But I've been really, really, really wanting to play other games on the hardest difficulty as a challenge. Like, God of War 2018 is one that I really wanted to try out. But let's once again come over to Arcadia, go down to potions, sell the damaging stuff we don't need. Okay. So, we can level up. Cool. We'll put it into Magicka. We still can't level up block right now. Which is perfectly okay. But what I think I will do is I will level up pickpocketing. I am going to be doing pickpocketing. Pickpocketing is a wonderful way to make money. A wonderful way. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful way to make money. We very much like pickpocketing. So let's go and beat up Mikhail and steal the Argonian Ale for our boy Benor, Benir, Bender. I don't know what his name is. I can't remember. Argonian Ale. There we go. So, let's make a quick save again. Mikhail, you need to leave her alone. What did you just say? All I heard was. Uh, let's brawl him. Let's see if we can do it with the unarmed claws. Come on. See what you made. Yeah, we should be able to. Remember, if you're fighting, back up. I'm pretty sure you can use healing, but a good way to dodge is just sidestep back and forth like this. And you're good to go, my friends. We made short work of Mikhail. 
You leave her alone or this gets worse. And if you're wondering, by the way, yes, I am on Legendary. Okay, let's wait an hour. Let's see, does this work? And why not? I just want to see, can we beat her up? Just fists. No weapons, no magic. Okay, let's just see. Let's go. Come on. Well, well. The claws are definitely helping with the 10 extra damage. Damn you. Oh my god, we can beat up Uthgird. Uthgird's a really good follower at the beginning. Never mind, bro. I've never I've never played Legendary Khajiit. I didn't realize how effective claws would be. It's never this effective. Now that's what I Wow. You got me. If you ever need another blade at your side, just ask. Uthgird, can you please come with me? I would appreciate it. Follow me, I need your help. Sweet! Alright, we got Uthgird, and we have our Gonian Ale to give, and we can tell... Alright, so first, let's give him the... Here's that special ale you wanted. And he gives us a potion of vigorous healing. Mikhail won't be bothering you anymore. There we go! Now we can take all of her ingredients. Oh, so much progress. I love this, man. A lot of a lot of monotonous beginning progress, but regardless, it's progress, guys. And everything we do here will help us in the long run, so. Everything we do here will help us in the long run. This is a local favorite. So let's go over here and we'll cook up some vegetable soup at the cooking spit. There's a lot of food to make here. So let's head down to the bottom and make as much as we can, which isn't actually a whole lot, funny enough. You want a drink? Sadia, get out of my face. But already, man, honestly, I think we've done quite a bit. You know, I think we have... I think we've achieved a good bit here. So what have we got left in the journal to do? Hmm. Yeah, we've got a good few stuff here to do. We should meet Fralia and get this out of the way with. So I'll skip this part. I'll deal with the dialogue for Fralia so you guys don't have to see it. Okay, I got the proof and I brought it over and now Avelstein will be outside the keep. So we can go and do that quest whenever. I just don't want anything to break. When you're doing something like this, you have to be meticulous to an extent. Um, I don't want to lose out. Now, what I want to do is I want to go back to Ember Shard Mine. And I would like to just automatically hit one of the things. The bandit should not have respawned at this point. I don't think there's any ore veins just outside the mine here. There is one uh, inside, of course, very early on. So, And I want you guys to see me get most of the trophies, if not all of them, hopefully. So I think the closest one is down here to the right. Yeah, it is. So if we press A, we should get the trophy on one of these. Have I oh, is that the only one here? Damn, I think we have to go a bit deeper. Oh, no, wait. There's some over here, right? Mm, no. I don't think so. Wait. No. No, 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 no. I probably passed one for sure, but there's definitely one ahead. So. Ah, it doesn't matter. Listen, the stroll won't do us any harm. It's good for the old calves. There we go. Hard worker. That is the trophy, right? All right, another trophy. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. We've got a good start to this. We've got a good start to this. Uh, the Thieves Guild 1 is going to be very tedious to do. That's restoring it to its former glory. But it's going to be so rewarding, man, when we get... Because this playthrough will have all the achievements. So our character will have to be strong. Because that requires doing everything, man. I can't even imagine what our character is going to look like by the end. It's kind of insane, if you think about it. It's really exciting, to be honest. But we have a follower from the beginning. We've beaten up a bunch of people. We've... We've got some decent gear. Let me unequip that. <laughs> We've got some decent gear. Uh, the, golden claw, uh, bleh, the Golden Claw quest is here, so we have to make sure to bring that back after as well. To make Luke and a friend of ours. Um... Like, doing Bleak Falls now, I think, would be a good shout. No pun intended. <laughs> um, a good shout. It'll kind of get us uh, going on the path from the beginning. 
Let me wait until daytime though, just while I'm fighting outside. Because I like being able to actually see in front of me. Uh, which is nice. Um, let's head on up here. There's a wolf here. I don't know where that other second wolf was. You remember the second one? I don't know where he went. Or she. Or whatever the wolf is. Oh, Uthgird is going to be so handy to have here. So. Um, let's make a proper save here before Bleak Falls. Kit Kat is truly ready for an adventure, I think. Uh, glory be to the Kit Kat.